This is a video that I did yesterday, day seven, and it's him practicing standing tied at a tie rail, and I'm using this little thing, it's called the blocker tie ring. And what it does is it allows them to pull back and then the lead rope slides through the ring and it prevents them from getting the satisfaction of snapping back when it, uh, when it breaks or whatever. And uh, after a while, they kind of give up on pulling back. You can see he's pulling back right here. In this situation, there's actually some activity going on. He's really pretty good at tying, fairly good at tying, but in, there's some activity going on. There's a leaf blower blowing and uh, it's stressing him out a little bit, which is just perfect. It's just enough activity so that he can learn that he's not gonna get that pulling satisfaction. And Clinton Anderson sells one of these, it's, they call it, he calls it the Aussie tie ring, but um, there's also the blocker tie ring, which is the original, and it's exactly the same thing. It's just a little bit cheaper. So I'm taking this and I'm using this uh, everywhere I tie him, you know, at the tie rack, when I'm grooming him, whatever, until he can learn to just stand quietly and uh, not be pulling back. Here I am working on picking up his back feet while he's standing at the tie rail. And I did this a lot when he was in his pen, but now I'm doing it in a different place. And so he's acting a little bit, you can see he's acting a little agitated. You'll see him start moving around a little bit. Um, and wiggling all over the place and I'm just being persistent and I'm using the whip and I'm just kind of using the second whip to pull the string around so I don't get kicked by him and I just keep doing it over and over and over again until he could stand quietly and just have his foot picked up. So now here this is a little bit later on he's starting to settle down a little bit and I'm kind of rubbing I'm rubbing the whip up and down his leg a little to uh, so he gets used to that sensation of the whip on his leg. And then I just pull on his foot, you know, 500 times until finally he gets to the point where he's not wiggling his leg around and he just lifts it up and holds it quietly. And so basically every time I, every time I lift it, if he's kicking, I kind of keep the pressure on. And as soon as it seems like he's starting to settle down, then I'll let him put his foot down. And we just do that over and over again. So over here, I'm doing his foot, and then um, again, I'm taking the whip and I'm just rubbing it up and down his leg just so he can get used to that sensation. Just, um, just kind of get him used to things around his legs and around his feet, and you can see he's a lot calmer now than he was earlier, but I'll have to keep doing this for a few more days. 